Let's set up your default reply. So go to your bot and under automation, default reply. So the default reply is triggered when a user inputs some message, types something in that the bot does not recognize. That means it doesn't correspond to a keyword, it doesn't trigger a rule, a sequence, or isn't a user input. Okay, so the bot just doesn't know what to do. The default reply can be triggered. We suggest enabling it and changing it to once per 24 hours, or you can fire it every single time. If you include text, I highly suggest changing this to once per 24 hours. So for the text version, we can input, and we're gonna pretend we're starting new. We can input something like this. Hey, sorry, I missed this. Here's what else I can help with. And we would create a menu of options that people can choose from to help them get back where they're supposed to be. The other thing you can do is ask them to please stick with the buttons for now. So it makes it clear what you want them to do, not type things in if that's what you want. The second part of this is we want to make sure that the admins are notified of this. You want to know about these breakpoints is what we call them. Now you have two options. You can link from the text, continue to another step and perform ap actions. Two actions. One, we're going to open the conversation. And two, we're going to notify admins. And we're going to tell them full name just triggered the default reply. Perfect. So we'll get that notification. Now, if you're in a soft launch, what we like to do actually is omit this text. So yes, it can cause some frustration, but that's why it's a soft launch. And we would just do this. So all the admins would be notified and the user most often, not always, just goes back up and uses the button because it re he realizes or she realizes that the bot didn't respond. It can cause some frustration and some people do drop off. Drop off. That's why I suggest only doing this during a soft launch. But then you change this to every single time. That way you know when people are having issues with your bot and then you can account for them for your full launch, okay? And there you go.